Good morning, dear friends. We are about to start this Mass of the Ascension of the Lord. In this Mass, we pray for every one of you who has the opportunity to worship God today. We pray for your families. We pray for all the intentions that you are bringing to God today as He ascends to God. We also pray for those who have asked our prayers, particularly, especially those sick and asking for healing, those who have lost opportunity for job and are asking for employment, and those who are just living in very dire straits at this time, that God may lead the way for everyone. I also want to pray for John Fernandez, who is still battling coronavirus. Pray for his healing and total recovery. We pray for Stella Marino, who is also battling severe back pain. We ask that God may help her find healing. We pray for others who are battling organ failure. That God may help them in every good way. Here in our hospital, we want to pray for those who are in critical care. Pray for those who provide care for them, nurses and doctors. Pray and ask that the good Lord may reach out and touch them with his hands of healing. I invite you to bring all your intentions before God in this Mass and let us pray together. Our opening hymn for today is Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Oh, if you your sing to Jesus, this scepter is the crown. All if you your gifts, the triumph is the victory alone. Of the songs of peace, O Zion, turn the like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation, heart redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us with the leaves, no questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him when the forty days were rough, shall our hearts forget his promise? I am with you evermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear friends, we are gathered today the, the solemnity of the Lord's ascension to worship our good God and to ask that our intentions and our prayers, our petitions may rise up to him as he ascends to the Father. To prepare ourselves, dear friends, for this Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, 
You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God. And make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the first book. It's a reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instruction through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which ye, you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days he will baptize with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. You will, you will, but you will receive power from the, from the Holy Spirit when he comes upon you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, and they were still looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight while they were looking intently at the sky as he was going. Suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside him. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who you have seen taken from you to heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalmist. God mounts his thrones to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. As all you peoples clap your hands, shout, for, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is a great King over all the earth. God mounts his thrones to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his thrones amidst shouts of joy. The Lord amidst trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God mounts his thrones to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of the earth is God. Sing psalms of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. 
what has what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might which he walked in Christ raising him from the dead and sitting him at the right hand in the heavens for above every principality authority power and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the age to come and he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way the word of the lord thanks be to god hallelujah 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 go and teach all nations says the lord i am with you always until the end of the world hallelujah 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 my sisters and brothers the lord be with you and with your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you lord the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I command you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I will just say very few things. I know today is the ascension of the Lord. And I do not intend to spend much time for reflection. Just want to give you a few things to reflect on as we prepare for the next nine days of Novena to the Holy Spirit. I hope you are able to do it because Jesus has given us the Holy Spirit as our mentor, our teacher, our coach, our friend, our helper, our advocate, our paraclete, just name anything that you need at this time. That we have to prepare to receive the Holy Spirit. And so the next nine days, I hope you will make time for the novena to the Holy Spirit. That's the first thing I want you to think about. I hope that you will make time for that because it's important. You may have never done this in your entire life. Try it this time around. Try it this time around. That's the first thing I want to say to you. The second, I, I want you to think about you being present when the Lord was ascending. Think about you being one of those witnessing this, this spectacle, witnessing this event happen. Think about what will be going through your mind. Think about what you'll be feeling. Will you be excited, happy, and celebrated? Or will you be grieving, sad, miserable? Will there be a tear on your eye? Maybe a tear of sadness or sorrow or a tear of joy? I don't know. But I believe that you'll be sad. I'll be sad. At least that's my feeling. I'll be sad to see the Lord go. Because separation creates sadness. Especially separation with someone that meant, meant so much to you will create sadness. And... Even though the Lord had tried to prepare the apostles to let them know, it's for your good that I'm going, that did not change how they felt. 
They were grieving. I'm sure there were some tears on that day because in their minds they knew that they would never see him again, at least not in the form they had known and lived and enjoyed his, his company. But there definitely would be a tear. So as I think about the Lord's ascension, I'm thinking about what this moment has meant for us. The separation from people we love. In some cases, it's separation by death. In some others, it's just physical separation. So we cannot deal with them. It's painful. We grieve because we want to be with the people we love. But Jesus said to them, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And when I have done so, I'll come back and I'll take it to myself so that where I am, you also will be. And that gives me hope that even the people that we have lost at this time, or lost in our entire life, that there will be an opportunity for us to meet again because they too live in Christ. So the Ascension Thursday isn't just a moment where we begin to look heavenwards because that's our destination. As the opening prayer says, says, where the head has gone before in glory, we the body will follow. Yes, that, that's, that's one thing. But the one thing that gives me hope is that sure, that we will see the people we love, the friends, the brothers, the uncles, the dads, the moms, the grandmas, the people who have always loved us and who have gone before us, that we will meet again. That is the second thing I want us to think about. Yes, there will be a tear. Yes, there will be the pain of separation. But we know that when everything is over, that we will meet again. And third, is a hope that our lives don't just end here. That sure, even if I die as a two-year-old, a one-year-old, a one-month-old, or a 70-year-old, or a hundred years old, but that's not the end of life. That I do have a destination. And so the story of my life or the story of your life doesn't just end with our death. The ascension of Christ opens a new chapter that there is life for us with God as Jesus promised. So we pray, dear friends, that these three things will keep us hopeful, especially as we go through this very difficult time. God is good. He loves us and he cares for us. The God who has called us, give us hope, hope that never fails. Amen. My dear friends, I'm going to take a minute to check and see what these calls are about. So that's what it takes to be on duty and be mad. Let us pray. When our risen Savior ascended into heaven, angels reminded his disciples that he would come back again. Until he comes, we continue his work of prayer for all peoples and their needs. That the church on earth will ever keep its evangelical mission of making disciples of all nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world may realize that they must give an account of their work to Jesus Christ when he returns as judge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That no one will be so attached to this earth as to regret being called to eternal life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all come to the maturity of faith in the fullness of the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, for our bereaved, for our dead, and for all those that care for our sick ones, doctors, nurses, 
that God may help them at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers for the intentions that you have brought here today. That God may accept them. That God may grant them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all our dead may ascend to the glory with Christ our priest and our King. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Your son is now seated at your right hand and throne in eternal glory. We make our petitions through him and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruits of the vine and work of the man has become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my beloved sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice with my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to heavenly realms. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of glory, the conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angel gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that he, that we his members, might be confident of following where he, the head has gone. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, the Lord Jesus took bread, giving thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, the Lord took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. With the first acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
to bring all to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Timothy our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray using the words our Lord gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of that peace. From me, to you and your families. May God's peace be with you. Amen. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Look up, my sisters and brothers, and behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. And on this day when we are unable to receive Christ physically, we pray for spiritual communion, that he may bring us his body and his blood, that he may nourish us with the same. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, I want to take a moment to express my thanks to all of you for joining us. I want to apologize for the fact that we had um, these calls coming in and going up. I think there are some emergencies. I'll have to rush and answer them um, right away. So uh, keep me in your prayers as I pray for you every day. Don't forget this. The next nine days, take them and do some novena to the Holy Spirit and see what happens on Pentecost for you. As always, I'd like to end by reminding you that you are the delight of Almighty God. God loves you very much. Let us say the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and sinners of the devil. May God rebuke him, we pray. 
and do the openings of the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. My dear friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God, bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have a wonderful day. Amen. We will sing a song to our Blessed Mother. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria.